I made two Umbrella Corporation signs using similar but slightly different techniques just for fun. The first sign was created using a glossy black acrylic and will be shown in the first half of this video. The second sign, which I think came out even better, was made with clear acrylic and will be shown in the latter half of this video. The black acrylic shown here in the laser was already masked. I set the laser to just barely cut the Umbrella Corporation design into the mask so that it could be peeled away later. The laser then completely cut the sign out. The sign will end up being three colors. The base color will remain the black acrylic and the lettering and part of the umbrella will be white. The rest of the umbrella will be red. I decided to start by painting all the white elements which require that those pieces have their mask carefully peeled away. I gave the sign a number of light coats of a matte white paint. I then masked off and covered everything that would stay white. Only the umbrella pieces I wanted to paint red were exposed. I then gave them some light coats of red paint. With the painting done, everything got peeled. Well, I should have been done at this point, but the tape had lifted a little between the umbrella and the words, and the N in corporation got hit with some red overspray. So I taped off the N and gave it a few more light coats of white paint to cover the red overspray. I removed the tape around the N and just needed to do some light scraping to clean it up a bit. A quick wipe with a microfiber towel and then it was finally done. Hooray! For the second sign, I wanted to try something a little different. I used clear acrylic for this one. The plan for this one was to create a reversed image on the back side so that it would show through correctly when viewed from the front. To do this, I wanted to only remove the design elements for each color that needed to be painted. Here, the laser only lightly cut out the umbrella pieces that would be painted red, and then the laser completely cut out the entire sign. The sign was pulled out of the laser, but the surrounding piece was left in to act as a jig for the later steps. The mask was carefully peeled away to expose the acrylic where I wanted the red to show through. The blue you see is the acrylic's plastic liner showing through from the other side. This will get peeled off at the very end. The exposed areas of the sign were then given a number of coats of red spray paint. After the paint had flash dried, the sign was placed back in the laser. The sign was placed in the exact same position as before. This allowed the next design elements to be cut exactly where they needed to be relative to the previous cuts. This time the laser cut out the remaining umbrella pieces that would then be painted white. The mask was carefully peeled away to expose the acrylic where I wanted the next color layer to show through. In this case, these elements would end up being white. The sign was sprayed white. You'll see that I'm not only painting the newly exposed areas, but I'm also covering the previously painted red areas. This actually doesn't matter as the white will be behind the red when it's viewed from the front. The sign was placed back in the laser and the areas to be painted black were cut in the mask. The mask was carefully peeled away from the letters and from around the umbrella. These elements would end up being black. Again, all that blue you see is the plastic mask on the other side of the acrylic that will be removed later. The entire sign was painted black. You might notice that I had some trouble with the spray can, but I did finally get enough coverage. One thing to consider with painting multiple layers like this, I only let each layer flash dry before cutting the next layer. I didn't wait a long time between coats of paint since I would be layering the paints. If any one coat had too much drying time, there is the risk that the new coat would react to it and cause wrinkling, completely ruining the sign. The paper mask was peeled away from inside all the letters first. Then the entire mask was peeled from the sign. And finally, the blue plastic liner on the front side of the sign was removed to reveal the finished product. Hooray! Really, the primary way signs like these would normally be made is using either colored or printed vinyl sticker material that is cut and applied to a rigid backing. However, if you're using paint on a laser part, the typical approach is to engrave out the areas that you want to paint. This is called paint filling. Paint filling is a great method to use, especially if the item is going to get handled and you want it to be more durable. However, this isn't an issue on the signs I made, as they won't be touched once they're mounted. I think the best thing about this temporary stencil approach is that it's fast and gave really good results. Thanks for watching. 
Let us know in the comments what you think and if you've ever thought about doing a project like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more projects coming soon. Stay tuned.